business doing 600 grand a year. If you crack that up a little bit more, and you just took business from 1,000 to 3,000 visitors, 100 pound spend to 200 pound spend, one visit a year to three visits a year, that actually takes 100 grand a year business to a 1.8 million pound a year business. So learning about how to implement some of these strategies can make a big, big deal in your business. So you probably understand your business and hopefully you'll know some metrics like your average client lifetime value. But if you're not familiar with that metric, the way you calculate that is you take what is each transaction worth, so how much does somebody spend each time they transact with you, how many times do they spend money with you per year, and how many years do they stay with you in their typical lifetime. You multiply those three numbers together and that will give you your average client lifetime value. So let's look at a couple of examples. An accountant might charge a thousand quid to do a business's books. They might transact with them only once per year because they'll only do their accounts once per year, but they might keep a client for an average of, say, five years. So that means every new client that an accountant gets is worth 5,000 quid over their lifetime. Let's take a different business type. This is a hairdresser. Obviously, I go to hairdressers a lot. Um, but if a typical haircut, probably for ladies, would be 50 quid, and they go eight times per year, and they stick with the same hairdresser for three years, that means the average customer lifetime value in the hairdressing business might be 1,200 quid. And you can work out the number for your business, whatever business you're in, you'll have some idea of what your average customer lifetime value is. Now, some of these strategies we've been talking about, and um, we can help with the Internet Business School, are strategies to get you more new customers, okay? And there are a number of different channels, so we can teach you how to get your website to the top of Google, we can teach you how to get on the first page of YouTube results, we can teach you how to get on Google's business directory, how to leverage Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, how to re-engage previous customers, how to have an affiliate scheme, how to do joint ventures, and how to do smart remarketing. So let's plug in some numbers to that and say, okay, just imagine you got on the first page of Google. You could probably all get at least one customer a day if your business was on the first page of Google. You could probably all get a couple of customers a week if you're on the first page of YouTube. You could probably get an extra customer a day if you're on the first page of Google's business directory. You could probably all get three customers a week if you learned how to do Facebook marketing. And if we're really pessimistic, we just say one customer a week from Instagram, one customer a week from Twitter, one customer a week from Engagement Labs customers, one a week from having an affiliate scheme, four a week from Joint Ventures, two a week from remarketing. So none of those numbers are particularly big. But if you add that lot up, that's 124 customers per month that you could be leaving on the table. And if you multiply 124 by the number that you worked out earlier for your customer lifetime value, that's how much money you're leaving on the table. So here I've just multiplied 124 by the hairdresser, which is 1,200 quid average customer lifetime value. So a hairdresser, using all these channels and getting those sort of results, could have their business growing by 148 grand of customer lifetime value a month by learning a bit about internet marketing. 